still have to clean everything from yesterday's film. back to another reading vlog. If you're new, welcome, and if you're returning, thanks for coming back. So yeah, I decided I was going to do a reading vlog this weekend. I feel like my... I look really red. I just got out of the shower. I feel like I was going through a little bit of a reading slump this week. It took me quite some time to finish Watermelon, and I was like, why is this taking so long? And then when I decided to do a reading vlog today, I'm like, okay, I have 200 pages to read of Watermelon if I want to start the vlog with, with new books. So, and I read it and it was amazing. So I'm feeling like I need a little swift kick in the butt to keep going on my February TBR. I want to finish it. I'm, 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 a, I'm a complete task kind of girl. I, I said I was going to read these books and I really want to read all these books. So I decided this weekend I'm going to finish reading three books. So technically three books in three days. Two of them I already started and the third one it depends on how much time I have left. I'll show you what I have to read. Okay starting with my audiobook I am on the second book of the Milkweed trilogy by Ian Tregellis, The Coldest War, and according to Audible I have four hours and 15 minutes left. So I, I don't see a problem finishing this sometime this weekend. So that's great. And I did start last night. I read about 30 pages of The Clockwork Prince, which is the second book in the Infernal Devices series by Cassandra Clare. I, yeah, so I read 30 pages last night and I think I finished, well, yeah, I'm on page 49. So I wanna complete this book as well. And for the third book, sorry, those are my headphones. <laughs> it depends. I'm giving myself three options. So if this leaves on a cliffhanger and I need to know what happens next, I can continue by reading The Clockwork Princess, which is the final installment of the Infernal Devices series. But if it doesn't and I'm like, I want something different, but I have a lot of time left, I will go on and read Rachel's Holiday by Marianne Keyes, which is the second sister in the Walsh Sisters series. <laughs> that was really hard to say. <laughs> and if I realize there's not a lot of time left and I still want to complete my goal, I have Watchmen, which is a graphic novel, so it is a lot faster to read than a full book. So it is Friday, and Friday is my official cleanup day, which means I do all like the big cleaning tasks of the house you know, bathroom, kitchen, floors, dusting, all that fun stuff. So the cool thing about that is I just pop on my headphones and I listen to an audiobook. So I'm going to go ahead and start listening to The Coldest War very soon. I did just make myself a coffee. I do need a coffee. I think I'll start with dusting. I don't think you care <laughs> what I start with. But yeah, so the plan today is get cleaning done. I kind of do it in like two parts, so one in the morning and then one in the afternoon. And then I do need to go grocery shopping. And what else do I have to do? I don't have to do any editing, but I could do some editing if I just want to do that. But I really want to focus on reading, so yes. Oh, and there's a couple things I need to watch tonight. I need to watch the new episode of Servant that just came out. <laughs> I love horror thriller shows that you don't know what's going on. Anyway, it's amazing. It's by M. Night Shyamalan. Mm. It's on Apple Plus, I love it. And the Cecil Hotel, a docu-series just came out on Netflix, which, I mean, 
if you don't know about the Cecil Hotel, well, I knew about it because of the le uh, the elevator game theory about the, the poor lady who passed away and was found in the water tank on the roof. The Cecil Hotel is really messed up, the history of the Cecil Hotel. So I really want to do that. But these are the plans. I should... So if I want to make my goal, I think I would have to read at least up to 300. What? How many pages are in this book 497 so about 500 so I think if I want to meet why am I so dark hold on let me fix this for you Ta-da! you can see my face okay so yeah I think I want to reach by I think I want to reach up to page 350 to this book that's going to be my daily goal 350 and for like I said, the coldest war, I'm not even going to, I'm, I'm not even going to attempt it because I'm walking all the time. I'm going for my walk to the forest tomorrow morning, so I know that's that's going to get done this weekend, for sure. But yeah, 350 will be my goal, and I'm holding myself accountable. Coffee number two, and yes, I put the cinnamon dolce syrup in my coffee every day because you know what? It's all about the little things. Good afternoon. It is 1.30. Got a bit done this morning. I did some of the cleaning and I just came back from grocery shopping. I'm kind of nursing a little bit of a headache right now, so I decided I'm just gonna lie down a little bit in bed and start reading Clockwork Angel. But I have been listening to Coldest War this morning. I'll give you a little bit of background. So. At the end of the first book, World War II ends. I'm not going to say what happens, but let's just say it ended a lot earlier than what really happened. Alternate, rea uh, alternate history, so at its best. And I'm not, I can't, that's all I can say. It ended a bit earlier, so, and I'm not going to tell you who won the war. So the second book it starts 20 years after the war ends and how everybody's lives are horrible, <laughs> basically. Well, no, some people's lives were horrible, some people were okay, but basically the consequences of what they decided to do during the Second World War had long-lasting effects. It's really hard to <laughs> not say anything, but let's just say I feel for all of the characters, um, you know, like I, I'm, I think I said it in my last vlog, but you know, the lines of right and wrong are definitely blurred in this book and uh, the despair, the hopelessness in, in some of these people's stories, it's just, it's a lot. So anyway, that was Coldest War, but I'm going to be reading clockwork prints now for a little bit until my head starts feeling a little bit better. Oh, this is Marshmallow, if you wanted to know. This is Marshmallow, my polar bear. He's my bud. I was about to sit down for lunch. This is just some leftovers that I had in the fridge, and it turns out <laughs> Videotron is down, so I can't even sit down and, like, watch a nice little YouTube video. Yeah. On the bright side, I just got my delivery from bookoutlet.ca. I really want to open it now. Because I know what I bought, but I wanted to show you guys. I think I'm actually going to do my very first book haul. Not today. I don't feel like filming today. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe even next week. I don't know. But none of the books I need to read at this moment because we're still in February and I still have my February TBR. So... It really sucks when we don't have internet. Apparently everybody's down. For Videotrons, I'm like 13,000 people are down right now. So anyway, yeah, back to lunch and then I'm gonna continue reading Clockwork Angel. I'm back in my room now. I have my dessert, which is some butter cookies as well as some yogurt covered cranberries just because I want a little something sweet. These aren't the best butter cookies. I find it's such a hit or miss with them. Anyway, I'm gonna read some more. I'm really happy that they're playing off the, why am I so dark all of a sudden? There we go. I'm really enjoying them playing the, yeah, that's what I hit, whatever. 
I'm really enjoying the love triangle getting a little bit deeper because they sort of hinted at it in the first book, but nothing really came of it. It was really between uh, Tessa and Will, but now Jem's coming in, so I'm really liking that. Learning a bit more history about the villain. I think that's it. I mean, I'm only about 70 pages in, so I don't have much to say, but yes, no internet will make me sit on my butt and read. Thank you, universe. <laughs> quarter after four I have spent the afternoon reading and I did do a little bit of a snooze because of the headache I was telling you earlier it feels like it did help I it's a sinus thing um, the dryness in the air due to the electric heating has been bothering me so I did snooze with my air humidifier so I think that helped a little bit but I have been procrastinating my housework I don't Necessarily want to do it right now, but I know I have to. So I'm going to make myself a nice cup of tea and I will start doing my housework. I don't know if I'm going to be listening to The Coldest War at just right now. I think I might just want to watch some YouTube just because I didn't get to do that for during my lunch, but. That's what I'm gonna do right now. I have my tea steeping in my cute little Virgo cup. That's one side and that's the other. I got this Niagara on the lake, a cute little, um, like a cute little shop. And the tea I'm drinking, because I find tea can sometimes be a little too mild for me. I tend to double bag. I have dirty chai as well as decaf vanilla chai. So there is a little bit of caffeine from the dirty chai, but it doesn't affect me like coffee or soda this late in the day. So yeah, I'm gonna have that and get to cleaning. Okay, finished cleaning the house, listened to The Coldest War, almost finished that, but now it is pizza with carrots and hummus and WandaVision. WandaVision had to be paused boyfriend I'm sorry for my hair situation with my hair right now boyfriend got called into a business meeting and it's really dark in here I'm really not thinking very well today um, yeah boyfriend got pulled into a meeting so that means I have a little bit more time to myself I kind of want to take a bath and I don't read in the bath because the book gets wet and all that fun stuff. I think I'm just gonna watch maybe a little bit of YouTube, maybe a little Tiny Meat Gang. I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna take a bath now, and then I'm gonna finish WandaVision with him. I am not anywhere close to my goal for the day. What did I say? I wanted to be at page 350. I think I'm only at like 130 something. Yeah, I'm at 137, so don't think I'm gonna be made. Well, you know what? I could just have a really good night in my bed and just read like 200 pages, because I have done that before, right? Anyway, I'm gonna take a bath. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a bath. It is currently 9.30. That clock is like four to five minutes fast. But I am ex utterly exhausted. I, I guess it must have been the headache that I've had all day. I feel like I've had a productive day though, but yeah, I am in bed. I'm going to read Clockwork Prince until I'm too tired to fall, to keep reading. So yeah, I'll be reading until I fall asleep tonight. <laughs> Exhausted. I don't know. I don't think I read many pages. I was still under 200 pages. I was still under 200 pages 
of uh, Clockwork Prince by the time I went to sleep. I went to sleep really early. I want to say 10 o'clock max. <laughs> but um, yeah, so the good news for that is I woke up early. I woke up around 6.30 and actually got out of the bed around quarter to seven. And I've been reading all morning. I just passed the 250 mark of the book and I'm really starting to like it. You know, there was a very surprising hot and heavy scene that I was not expecting. You know, considering it's Victorian England, I'm like, oh, okay, they're gonna just have like one kiss and that's gonna be, oh, I'm sorry. There we go. Yeah, it was just gonna be one kiss and then, <laughs> but no, it was hot and heavy. Love me a love triangle, so I'm very happy about that. Um, but yeah, it is currently quarter after eight. I really want to get to the woods because it's Saturday and kind of a thing f that I like to do on Saturday mornings. Except it's like really cold. It's negative uh, 23 Celsius. And, but it looks like it's warming up a little bit. And I don't think there's much wind. So when there's not much wind, it's not too bad. I just, I'm trying to find the energy to actually get up and go. <laughs> Ugh, okay. Yeah, I do have to get up. I'm gonna stretch a little bit before I go for my walk and then I will go. I'm not gonna bring my camera this time because like I said, it's really, really cold. So um, I don't want it to be exposed for that long anyway. But yeah, so I'm, I'm, and when I'm walking, I'll be listening to The Coldest War. I don't have much left. I think I have under three hours left of that. So I will get a chunk of that done. But yeah, happy weekend. Hi friends. It is, oh, it's only 11.30. I'm, for some strange reason, I thought it was 12.30. It is, <laughs> it is 11.30. My walk was amazing. It was really, really cold though. So when I came back, I was like, I need to hit the shower because I, I was also sweaty and freezing, which happens if you stay outside in negative 25 degrees for too long, but did that. And then I'm like, I'm starving because I did walk a lot. And my boyfriend wanted, to make, wanted me to make protein pancakes that I make with banana and protein powder and flaxseed and chia seeds and hemp hearts and Add a little bit of vanilla. Anyway, so I made those because I also had some bananas going uh, that were turning. This is the last one. Um, but also I went to the grocery store on the way back and I kind of really want a croissant. So I got croissant. So this will be my first meal of the day. All right, so I got protein pancakes and a nice croissant I just got out of the microwave so it's nice and warm half of a clementine, and some dragon fruit, which is my current obsession. First time I ever saw dragon fruit at the grocery store. Not to say that it was never there, I just never noticed it before. So then I bought it, and then I had to Google, how do you cut dragon fruit, and what part do you eat of the dragon fruit? And I found out it's really easy, so I bought another one with my croissant. Anyway, I'm gonna eat. I don't know. I guess I, I'll do some reading. I'll do some reading. Uh, I'm just going to watch a little bit of YouTube while I eat because I cannot read and eat at the same time. But I will do that and then I will check back with you later. Okay, just finished eating. I am currently in the living room and I'm going to get a little bit of reading. Yeah, I got up to page 250 this morning. I'm going to read a little bit then. I I really want to watch the docu-series of the Cecil Hotel. I got like 15 minutes into an episode and then I went to bed. So um, I'm going to read a little bit. I'm going to try to read at least, let's say, 30 pages. I don't know. I'm going to read a little bit, then watch that. And I do sense a nap in my future. Okay, I am a couple pages shy why isn't this focusing? I'm at page 392 of Clockwork Prince. Okay, this book is actually really good right now. I'm loving the love triangle. I'm loving the search for what Tessa actually is. Oh yeah, long story short, she never knew that she wasn't human, but they still don't actually know what she is. You know, the whole steampunky clockwork 
automatons. I am just absolutely loving it. I am definitely going to finish this today. Still haven't decided if I'm going to pick up a long book or a short book tomorrow, but I'm going to take a bit of a break, a break for my eyes. I am going to watch episode two of hey, up. the docuseries on the Cecil Hotel. Good evening. It has been a hot minute since I gave you an update. It is quarter to eight. <laughs> I did a lot of reading. I did watch a little bit of the Cecil Motel docuseries. Um, but I am currently on page 442. So I have a little over 50 pages left of Clockwork Prince. Cassandra Clare, it's a slow, a bit of a slow burn in, at the beginning. Like, for both books, I felt it took me a while to get into it, like at least 150 pages, which is, you know, a bit long, but now I'm totally into it. A lot has happened, and with 50 pages left, I feel like it's probably going to be a cliffhanger ending, which brings me to, I am going to try to finish Clockwork Princess by the end of this weekend, if not Monday morning. If I could finish it by Monday morning, I'd be okay. I would have read quite a bit. I still have about an hour or so left of The Coldest War by Ian Tregellis, which, once again, I'm not going to worry about. All I got to do is go for like two walks <laughs> and I'll have it done. So I'm probably going to finish that tomorrow, no problem, no stress. But yeah, I think I want to finish the Infernal Devices series this weekend. So anyway, I'm going to finish the last 50 pages of this book. And then I'll probably finish the night off by either starting this one, which I might just go ahead and read the first couple of chapters or so, or more docuseries on the Cecil Hotel. Just finished Clockwork Prince. Oh my gosh. Did they just like jam pack all the good stuff right at the end? <laughs> I mean, that's not true. I think probably after page like 250, it started going nuts, but phenomenal. I am going to pick up Clockwork Princess. Day. <sighs> I am currently the only one up. My partner's still sleeping. I made myself a nice yummy chocolate mocha coffee because it's Sunday and it's Valentine's Day. So, you know, treat yourself. I read up to a hundred pages or so of Clockwork Princess. Um, I read about 50 last night and about 50 this morning. And I think it was smart of me to just start it off the bat. I think that was the problem with the second book. It took me a while to get into. But if you just jump right into it, it's a lot easier. Looks like I have a bald spot. Anyway, um, but it is Sunday, so I am going to do a bit more relaxing. I think I'm just going to sit and watch some YouTube. And uh, then I'll get back to reading. I do want to finish this book today. I think it's about 600 pages, but I think I can get it done. That is my goal. I want to get this done. Okay, huge change of plans. It is currently quarter to 12. A friend of mine called, asked if I wanted to go for a walk, which means we're probably gonna go to a mountain of sorts, which, you know what? I think I really want to. But quickly, I wanted to show you guys what me and my boyfriend got each other for Valentine's Day. This is gonna be really weird, but we got a nice, beautiful new coffee machine, which provides either a pot of coffee or if I just want to do a single. It is amazing. I'm so excited because prior to that I put it away but 
let's just go. So I just had that guy, which is a single serve. I had it when I lived alone, which makes sense because I only really need to serve one cup of coffee because I lived alone. But it was getting a little annoying <laughs> to do because we could only do one coffee at a time. So now we could do one coffee or we could do a pot. And everything has the reusable filter, so I don't have to buy any extra of that. I'm really excited. I'm very, very happy with that. As for reading, I have not touched my book since this morning, but our D&D game was canceled because a couple of people were, were not feeling great. Another one had to take care of his kids because his wife did an overnight. So no D&D &D game. So I might be able to finish it tonight. I won't be reading. Obviously, I'll be going for a walk. But who knows if I'll finish it. If not, that's okay because this is the joy of life. Spontaneity is fun sometimes. So I will probably bring you guys along. It's not that cold out. No, it's not that cold out. See, it's funny. Canadian Winter 101. When the road is wet, that means it's not that cold. And when the road is dry with white means it's effing freezing. So I think I am going to bring you guys along. Yeah. You guys want to come? Well, you're coming. Welcome back. <laughs> it is currently quarter after four. I got home a little bit earlier, but my boyfriend and I just sat and spoke a little bit, you know, because it's Valentine's Day. So I did bring my camera to the walk and it was amazing. Only battery died. Okay. So I'm new to YouTubing and all that fun stuff. I swear to gosh, I will. Just realized the autofocus was off. I don't know why. Anyway, uh, I will get better at making sure the battery's full before I leave with it. Anyway, I'll insert some photos here. Those are all the photos. And yeah, no, it was amazing. I really had a lot of fun. Now I am in bed. I'm going to read. Okay, it is 10 to 6. I just reached page 200. I don't think I'm going to finish this book. I mean, I'm going to read tonight. I'm not going to put any stress. I finished one book and I have an hour left on my audiobook. You know what? I'm going to say it's been a productive weekend. You know. And I got a new coffee machine. How much fun is that? Even though I have not reached my goal, I feel like I made very good progress. Good evening. <laughs> wow. Just finished the audiobook, The Coldest War by Ian Tregellis. I remember the end of it, but still. <laughs> Honestly, I, I don't understand why people don't talk about this series. It is amazing and I'm definitely going to be starting the third book tomorrow when I go do groceries or whatever anyway it is 8 30 and I have taken my bath I'm in my pajamas and I'm gonna go ahead and pick up Clockwork Princess I think what did I say 200 yeah I'm on page 200 I don't think I'm gonna be finishing this book tonight that's okay I'm gonna just read until I feel like going to sleep all right, it is the next morning. It is Monday morning. I did not get a lot of reading done last night. I only read about 15 pages because boyfriend and I were just spending time together watching TV. So I'm going to end the vlog here. I think I had a very productive weekend. I finished reading two books, which is The Coldest War by Ian Tregellis and Clockwork Prince, and I got about 215 pages into Clockwork Princess. So that's, you know, over seven or 800 pages. Actually, yeah, I don't even know how many pages The Coldest War is. But, you know, could I even call it a thousand? Yeah, why not? Well, anyway, maybe a thousand pages I read over the weekend, so that's actually really good giving myself a hard time for not finishing Clockwork Princess. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video, so go ahead and give it a like if you did. Also, please subscribe. I would love to see you back, and I'll see you next time. Bye.